All right, welcome to the 8-Bit Comedy Hour. I am one of your hosts, Michael. I'm Jacob. And I'm John. John is currently traveling. He is on the road. So uh, he's going to be... Uh... I am. The auto quality is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, but uh, bear with us. <laughs> bear with us. Yeah. In Upside, uh, we do have Jacob this week. <laughs> Uh, with hey, a much I'm better, back. with a much better uh, mic, it turns out he's not dead. Um, which I'm neither dead nor shitty sounding. Fifty percent of us were hoping for, so that's I good. Know, I know. A well rested. It day. Was, I, I was in fact well resting, um, and and I do know that fifty percent of you were hoping I was deceased. I know it was fifty percent of each of you, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Isn't that yeah? Because I'm like, wait a second, this math's wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. It was just the left it's supposed side. Supposed to be sixty. Yeah. No, no, it was the left side of I each gotcha. of you. I know. It's okay. Damn um, liberals. I, pre- yeah, I, so I, I'm back. I appreciate. <laughs> I am. Uh, I appreciate I am... you like justifying it instead of just calling us stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. It's... I am. I am back. Uh, I did listen to last week's episode. And as editor emeritus, uh, which means editor, of course, not present, naturally, mm-hmm. uh, I, I feel we it's my responsibility. We all speak Latin, Jay. We all speak Latin. I know. Thank I know. I, that's actually not what it means. I'm just being a dick about it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I do feel the need to go down a list of some notes I have here of, uh, of some corrections and clarifications that need to be made about some comments you guys made while I wasn't here to correct you. All right. Uh, so first off, first off, Movie Pass has its ten dollar one movie a day plan. Still a thing. Still a thing. But uh, it turns out. Go ahead. go ahead. Well, I was gonna I say. I was gonna say. They uh they fucked me over <laughs> because they've changed their terms of service and now you can only be logged into one account per mobile uh, device, and Stimulant. and you can't see the same movie more than once. So now Correct. I have no to repeats. Now I have to pray no that my wife and I never go <laughs> Your out. Your wife to see... never wants to see a movie you want to see. <laughs> well, I just we just can't go see. We just can't go see uh, Avengers um, or Ready Player One or anything you've watched in the last month. Basically, yeah. Or I yeah, have no, to. I get it. Or I have I to come it. clean. At some I point. get it. You you may you may be in a spot of bother well, there, they, buddy. But they but painted we'll me into a fucking you. corner. God damn it! I had it full. <laughs> oh, they did. I am writing a oh, strongly you, worded letter. You're gonna have to make that decision soon because the longer you hold the secret, then the worse it's gonna be. I'm well, just canceling. Be. You've lost so it's a customer you... movie pass. You've lost a customer. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking up marriages. I was, movie pass. Yeah, I mean, I was I was totally threatening to cancel when I heard about the four movies a month thing, and then I was like, oh, it's okay. It was okay. just a promotion. It's just a promotion. So that people would buy yeah. iHeartRadio. Yes, it's you like, get iHeartRadio. Dumbest it's, promotion yeah. I have ever fucking heard. Of. Totally stupid. <laughs> Who wants iHeart fucking radio? Anyway. Uh, sponsor us, iHeartRadio. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> iHeartRadio is fantastic. Moving down the list. Yeah, it's, it's a great product. Great product. Uh, moving down the list. Uh, you guys talked about curling a little bit, saying it was sort of the everyman sport. I just felt the need to point out that it's a highly athletic and incredibly competitive uh, sport. And in fact, in this last Winter Olympics, it was the first sport where an athlete was busted for performance-enhancing drugs. For, we can talk for about curling. For curling, yes. <laughs> It yes, was the no, first, I, I, I do the first but not the last. Well, no, it was just the first in this current Winter Olympics. It doesn't exactly. mean it was the only in right. this Winter Olympics. <laughs> okay, so we can, that just, we can talk that about that later. Is that, all all that means is that, is that the, uh, the athletes in curling are, are not as smart or the security <laughs> is way more strict. <laughs> The drug test. No, I, think just it's I, I think core. I think I'd probably right on both fronts. I yeah. think um, what it's saying is competitive curling. There's a lot of pressure on these athletes to perform, and so therefore you have to get a leg up on the competition. And where else do you turn? You need to work out more to get your brushing things down, like performance enhancing right. drugs. I, I just For the love of God, it's called sweeping, John. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I think uh, I think Stefan LeBlanc, the head of uh, security for curling, obviously takes his job very seriously. And... Is this guy French? Stefan LeBlanc? 
I just made that name up, but yeah, he's clearly. <laughs> In a brief note, I will be fact checking that for next episode. Well, I've totally. I've already come clean and said that I made that up. So. No, don't don't worry. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll don't take don't worry. I got you. No, okay. it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to. He just wants to be thorough. Yeah, just, I appreciate. Yeah. It. I Absolutely. like that. I like that. Absolutely. I think we we should do. I like the idea of Jay doing a what we got wrong last episode at the start of. Every oh, I'm episode. not done, son. I'm not done. I know, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm come I took <laughs> notes, bud. Tell me more about how I was wrong. I, I love this. Um, okay. Uh, you guys discussed Saved by the Bell and how there were many uh, interlude characters mm -hmm. who you just yes. never see again. Uh, literally, yes. the quote is, and then you never see her again. Um, that's because of a little-known B-plot in which Saved by the Bell is actually a slasher series where there is a serial <laughs> killer. Um, and they're all just kind of going through life pretending nothing's wrong. Again, little known B plot. Oh, I, so oh, I see. So I it's see. basically this, is, this isn't fact checking. This is <laughs> what? This is fact. What are you saying, John? So, so, the, what are you so saying? basically, this is this is uh, what are you saying, the John? Was No, the, no, uh, I want to know. I want to know what John is fucking implying about me right now. If you want to keep talking about. Saved by the Bell 2, I've started watching the college years, and we can go on continuity issues on there, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, oh, 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 sure. I feel like it gets sure even worse. It but gets I'm sure worse. nobody cares. I don't think we need to... It, well, no, I mean, we all care. That's our problem, ultimately. <laughs> that, that but, is the problem. Yeah. We care too much. That is, in effect, the issue with us, is we care. Yeah. Um, right, moving down, uh, Michael, you referred to skateboarding as an eSport, which... Did I say I mean, esports? I, don't feel like I meant sport? X game. Sorry. X game. I know. Sport. Sport. Extreme I know sport, right? See, that's yeah. that one. I was just like, hmm. I feel like he deserves to know he did this. Yes. Just no. So he thank feels you. Kind of dumb yeah, about himself I'm a for a minute. Idiot. <laughs> I mean, you'll get over it in like five more minutes. It's I'm fine. already over it. Um, I'm way over it. Good. Good. Excellent. Uh, I was referring to Tony Hawk to Pro Skater Three. Which is an esport. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, that <laughs> that would, that is in fact that is a very competitive esport indeed. Uh, I also wanted to clarify, John does in fact still have my copy of Final Fantasy VII at his parents' house, and I want it as back. an addendum to that, <laughs> yes, uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Do. As an addendum to that, that is why I am currently holding his original <laughs> Batman box set DVD. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Wait, by original? Absolutely. You seriously have this? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty what? sure I have that on a shelf right over there. Like, Was I have it, your, it's, your it's Batman like the first DVD box set. You couldn't see it, John, but Jay looked dead into the camera. He was like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Four movies? Well, I couldn't hear what you said, but I'm assuming you said all four movies, and the answer is yes. No, I, I kind of have video on. I, <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't know you have it. I feel better, actually, about having your copy of Final Fantasy VII now. I and mean, a bunch of your GameCube and PS2 games. You've got so much of my shit, dude. Like, that is true. I tried no to give it back to you. Got a lot of my I shit. tried to give I was just like, nah, GameCube it's cool. You better games. fucking play that shit now. No, I tried right. to give you back those games, and you refused to take them. I did. I did because you hadn't played them yet. You hadn't played them yet. Get it together, I'm not going to play Prince of Persia on PS2 now. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I mean, that's that's ultimately that's that's actually a very fair decision on your part. Um, and lastly, uh, we wanted to. Uh, I, I wanted to correct here. You guys named two bowlers. You named Chad Hestwick and Buck Walters. Mm -hmm. Buck Walters. That's a TV show. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. One of you said that was a bowler. And I just want to give our apologies to Chet Brunswick and Walt Buckner. Chad. Professional bowlers. Chad Hestwick. Uh, no, no, no. no. You said Chad Hestwick. Uh, the, the correct name is Chet Brunswick. Chet Brunswick. And you screwed his name up. <laughs> yeah, Chet Brunswick and Walt Buckner. Are the, the heir to the Brunswick bowling, bowling fortune? Um... Ironically, no. No, Ironically, those are those are the no, 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 those are the Pennsylvania Brunswick's. He's from the North Dakota Brunswick's. Oh, the North Dakota Brunswick's. Yeah, yeah. Of the North Dakota Brunswick's. From yeah, Fargo. North Dakota Brunswick's. <laughs> I mean, Fargo uh, may or may not be based on the uh, the Brunswick family's stranglehold right. on that town's. Economy. True. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. 
awesome fact checking like game. Good investigative reporting. North Dakota. The I feel. North Dakota. I feel... <laughs> That's good. Uh, Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> I dare you. I fucking dare you. That's the best part about this is Jay knows nobody's going to question him on <laughs> So it's just like, we don't care enough. Whatever the fuck he wants. Well, either nobody's going to care about enough or anybody who knows me is like, he could be right and it's just not worth checking. Yeah, exactly. It's the point. He knows, like, <laughs> you know, nobody's going to bother checking you because either, either you're just making up something wildly, like, different that doesn't really matter or you're probably fucking right. And, <laughs> I could be right. Could be right. I could be wrong though. I could be yeah. right. Could be wrong though. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we into this week, John? Let's start with you until before we lose you. Yeah, because I've been <laughs> a Um, let's see. That card. I, I was. I all I got is um, not really is Saved by the Bell. The college years. <laughs> um, that's what I've been. That's what I've been watching in the car. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 Man. no, no. Take it back, Love. take it back, take it back. I got a good one. Cobra Kai is sweet. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh. I've, I've only watched... Damn. The first two know. episodes, <laughs> but it's sweet. And I probably will get the free 30-day YouTube description okay. read in all the 30-day right. period. So all I'm right. totally thinking of buying that to finish Cobra Kai because I, I watched the first two episodes and I thought it was totally sweet. It's like, it's been... Around. It's like Daniel's the Ralph Macchio's the bad guy. Johnny's still like kind of a dick, but he's still kind of the protagonist. It's very interesting, and he like restarts Cobra Kai as his own. Uh, you know, when once he sees like kids get bullied and stuff like that. But I've only watched two episodes so far, so I don't know where it's. I am. I I think it's cool. I'm down with it. I'm super down with it. Nice. Cool. Jay? Cool. Uh all right. So mine's a little little weird rabbit hole again. Mm-hmm. Um It's what we expect so, from you. Good. Good. It's what you should expect from <laughs> me. So I watch, you know, like while I work I watch a lot of stuff. Uh just like in a corner of the Porn. screen or like second sure. screen or whatever. Oh uh, sure, sometimes, why not? But more often than not, it's like not reality TV, but like docu series kind of stuff mm-hmm. um, that like verges on reality sometimes. Like I, I watch like series about just people doing kind of documentary style. But this week, I hit upon uh, a sub genre of like World War II docu series, mm-hmm. and I watched a couple episodes of one called uh, Nazi Megastructures. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this could be cool. <laughs> this sounds like awesome. This sounds I awesome. like engineering. And there's like this docuseries called Mega Engineering that was really cool. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this could be cool. This could be good. And I watched like two episodes and I realized every single person that was like talking about it or like doing anything was like a white guy <laughs> in his like late 30s to mid 40s mm-hmm. and i was like you know i have the sneaking suspicion that there are no people of color or jewish people anywhere involved in this production <laughs> <laughs> and and sure enough that little rabbit hole led some interesting places that basically everybody involved in, in this and like these kind of series is basically like white bread kind of weird fascination with Nazis, not just like World War II and cool engineering, but like they were interested in the Nazis doing this. I'm like, fuck, can't watch that anymore. Nazi I do not like these new porn, Nazis. Basically. <laughs> Nazi that, it was propaganda. accidentally Nazi propaganda around still, and I'm like, oh, God, <gasps> fuck, I wanted to <laughs> like, like this. Like Jacob's just I sitting there. I wanted to like this. Jacob's just sitting there working, you know, typing away, and it's just like, you know, it's for all for all the stuff they did, the Nazis had some pretty good ideas. Take this, uh, take this, oh, uh, take this uh, engineered uh, no. C- internal oh, no, combustion no, engine. No, 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 seriously. <laughs> no dead serious man that's like one of the things that they're like oh it's amazing how great and brilliant this idea was and it's like 
you're talking about the railways they used to take people to death camps. You get that, right? <laughs> oh, like, you oh. get that that is literally the subject oh, of this episode. Like, I skipped that episode to the next one even because it was that, like... They, like, rough. they like brush over... They're like, yeah, sure, they did, they did some bad stuff. But anyway, these ideas <laughs> were brilliant. Technologically, but Mussolini made anyway. the trains run on time. Yeah. It's like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. First off, no. No, he didn't. <laughs> Second off, the what? efficiency <laughs> of the murder machine was just yeah. I like, like, and I had this like this moment of realization. I I'd, I'd had it playing in the background for like two and a half hours or something, and I was like, I have not heard them say one thing yet that wasn't like impressed, <laughs> and I'm like. I feel right. like there's something wrong here. So I stopped watching and went down that little rabbit hole a little bit and was like, yep, nope, can't do it anymore. I see can't Jay just getting Ken like Burns. angrier Save me, and Ken angrier Burns. as he like he's working. <laughs> he's just like I was, dude. Oh god. It was rough. It Adrian's was rough. My like, keyboard was Adrian's not. Adrian's like, happy. do you want anything for dinner? He's like, no, I'm good. Ooh, too soon, buddy. Too, too soon. soon. Oh, dude. <laughs> Too soon. Oh, that one hurts. That was funny. I thought it was funny. Anyway, it was it was kind of funny. I I'll 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 allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, Although I'm gonna have to fact check which hand you did it with. I did it with my left. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I'm aware. I think they always used to do it with their right, which is why I did it with my left specifically. Oh, you were you doing it as an insult? Okay. Yeah. It was a it was Approved. a social commentary, is what it was. Was it? Was it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. definitely. Sure. I'll go with that. Why not? Uh, big news <laughs> for me. Big, big, big news. Well, um, you didn't tell me what you were into. You're just... Huh? Your big news, what you were into this week? Uh, well, there's only one thing that I've been really into this week. Um, I've been really into the fact that Anna and I are pregnant. Oh, oh dude. What? This is live. What? We're doing this live. Oh, That's crazy. Oh, no. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Your life is awesome. over. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> it's real done now. I'm really done. So dude, this will be the I last know podcast you were ever. <laughs> this will be the last nice thing I do ever. See this wall behind me? It's about to be covered in shit. Yeah, this will be the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, yeah, we found out. Uh, we found out. Awesome. A little, um, a little less than a week ago, um, and cool. it was. Uh, it's funny because I've had the feeling for the longest time because she starts like mm -hmm. exhibiting all these signs, you know, like all of a sudden she's oh, like, symptoms. "I'm really craving donuts and pork chops tonight," and I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay." Yeah, yeah. And she's well, like, and she's like, "Oh, and shit. I missed my period for two <laughs> weeks," and it's just like. But like, but then of course she's like scared about being pregnant, so I have to be like, no, you're probably yeah, not right. pregnant. Meanwhile, I'm like, she's totally fucking pregnant. She's totally. Pregnant. Yeah, totally, she's totally. totally pregnant. You know. Right now, fuck. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, it's fucking goddamn. Like, and she's sitting there, like she wakes up, she wakes up one Saturday morning, like I want to sleep in and chill, like that was the plan for the day, and she's already like ripped everything out of Bean's room to like rearrange it and it's like you're nesting pretty hard right now she's like yeah i don't know why like just truck loads like, of new furniture keep arriving at the I house know, like every day there's a new piece of furniture arriving to the house i'm like babe why is there just a bunch of kindling on our front porch like like why why is there just a bunch of ikea furniture like sitting on our front porch kindling. that's my favorite way so, to go to ikea furniture now though is just to call it kindling, kindling. yeah because it's like it's just a pile of sticks <laughs> it's a pile of sticks basically yeah until you put it together that's it's just awesome. a pile of sticks so it looks like kindling it looks like a, it literally could not be more of a nest and i'm just like why why does this stuff keep showing up and she's like well i just figured if we had this one extra piece of nesting uh she literally bought nesting tables no joke you can't make that stuff up um and uh and she's like well i just thought if we had this it would be you know it would really tie the room together and i'm like there was no but would it though there was no need for it we have not used the nesting unnecessary tables since. no you won't big you'll, question you'll never use them big question yeah Big question though. So, does that mean Anna loses her office, or are or are James and the baby gonna share a room? Anna has already lost her office, basically. So, uh, what we did was um, 
I mean, babies don't take up that much space for the most part. Um, not until they're a little older, until they're about one and a half, two. So yeah, uh, we put the crib in her office and just kind of moved her desk around. So she now, instead of having like a full room, she has about the space that I have. And she's just like, oh, mm -hmm. it's so small. I'm like, yeah, this is what I've had the entire time we've been in this house that I pay for. Um, and so... Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding. Careful. We have a part. Careful, we bro. have a partnership of equals. We totally do. But um, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Of but course. but that being said, she has always had way more space than I have for being equal partners. Um, that's how it works. But that's I'm okay it with it. No, that's, that's, yeah. I'm okay with it because I don't need a lot of space. I'm a very like. I'm, I like being enclosed. I'm. I'm. Is there what Jay? Fact check. What the opposite of agoraphobic? Clock? I'm not agoraphobic though. I don't, I'm not afraid. It's, it's fear of open areas. I'm not. I'm not afraid. But you were saying claustrophobic. I've never even looked at another guy before. Claustrophobic is afraid. Oh Jesus. <laughs> God. Anyway. Uh, all right. I'm gonna fact that's, check and, and correct true. that homophobic that's joke real quick. Just saying. Uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. That's a child's classic. <laughs> it is. And was, also, anyway. it includes the line "Want a pickle? Hump. Here's a pickle." <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I'm anyway. not making that up. No, I know, I know. So, uh, yeah, so we converted we converted the office into a baby room slash office, which is what um, right. we're doing. Although we don't have a mattress, so we just <laughs> we put the baby crib in there and then piled a bunch of Anna's shit on top of the crib. So now the crib is just a pile of boxes. It's pretty funny. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really well, I mean, wow. you got you got what you got like eight, seven, eight months or something. Yeah, we got about seven months. So she's actually due. Cool. Uh, her her projected due date is December twenty fifth. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, compare Damn notes it. with David real quick. <laughs> yeah. Rip. Rip yeah. the dream. Uh, we're Rip really really hoping. Dreams. We're really hoping. I'm hoping the kid comes early. Or mm -hmm. late, obviously. I'm hope I would actually. I think I would prefer. I think I'd prefer something like December 10th would be really cool. Um, yeah, a January baby would be all right, but it would be a little. I I kind of hope. I kind of would rather. Would it be worse? Would it be worse to you if it was if it was born the first January first? No, I don't care. I don't care about that because I don't care about New Year's. Just not a New Year's baby. Just not the twenty fifth. So the right. here's Look up so here's the real quick so and... here's the here's the weird like you want to hear the most selfish stupidest reason for not wanting to have a baby born mm -hmm. after December 29th. or December thirty first I should say. Sure. I don't want it. my kid born on an odd number of year. I don't. I, I like. I don't want to have a 2019 kid. I'm not judging you for that. I mean, is, is that it's is just. That, it's a little odd. It's a little. Well, because Bean like, is 2016. Okay. Right. So I think it would be cool to have them like two years apart. Right. Like 2016, 2017, mm -hmm. 2018. Yeah. It makes sense if it's 2019. Sure. It just oh. feels weird to me. So like I'm hope my my okay. my, my hope. Okay. Is I'm sure, gonna start sure. feeding Anna like peppers and stuff on like December 9th. <laughs> Take her out on the yeah, trampoline. Yeah, it's totally. It's it's always absolutely actually worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throw her out mm -hmm. on the trampoline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lock her out there oh, for yeah. a night. See what she does. Totally. You know. It it works 60 percent of the time, 100 percent of the hey, time. Hey, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> Facts. I agree with you. Facts. If it's stupid and it works, <laughs> hey, emphasis on and it works. Well, so the thing is, is like I think we can kind of ch sort of choose our delivery date in a way because um, I think we're probably so Anna's saying she wants to try for a natural childbirth. Okay, mm, but I think yeah, I think the doctor's probably going to be like, you should get a C-section because she had a C-section before. And there's mm -hmm. always like a, a large percentage of like there's a huge probability that having a C-section once and then trying to have natural can add unexpected complications. Yeah. 
So they're probably going to be like, why don't we just do the C section again? And um, I'm going to be like, <laughs> and babe. then you basically just, yeah, and then you just pick, like, yeah, and then we could say December 10th. Yeah, I, it wouldn't matter at that point. I mean, you might want to let it cook another week or two, but all right, December 12th, 12 12. There you go, 12 12 18. You could do 12 18 18. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to, what, what I would probably you could split do... the difference. It's it's six days, so it could be 12 15 18. It could be a series, you know, 12 15. 18. Nobody would ever understand it or recognize it, but I mean, it would be there. It would be a thing. It would be a thing. Aliens to like you. Aliens would recognize it when they came down because you, they, none universal. of those are primes. No, but like none of those are special numbers. Sure, sure. I don't disagree with math is universal, but like <laughs> they don't necessarily use base ten, and then like. There's nothing special about the numbers twelve, fifteen, and eighteen on their own. So like. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to miraculously make He's, him like Jeff besides, Goldblum in Independence Day or something. Right. Or but, Jeff Goldblum Jurassic Park shirt off. I mean, that's <laughs> what that's that the is best life type goal. Of Jeff Goldblum. That is life <laughs> goal. That or like Jeff Goldblum and Thor Ragnarok, where he's so in control of a planet that a fucking god of Asgard decides to make him a sugar daddy. Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> that is winning. That is success. Yeah, but it fell apart <laughs> hard underneath him, though. It did. It did. Which ultimately was his own fault, though. Yeah. I mean, he could have done it better. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was just if so... If he'd been like, oh, gods of Asgard? Okay, cool. Get the fuck out. Like, yeah. Well, he was just so deal with overwhelmed you. with... Uh, with, with his own success and, and believed in it so wholeheartedly that he true, didn't true. think he could be taken down. Ah, hubris. And then every everybody turned on him and he was just like, guys, come on, I'm Jeff Goldblum. I'm Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. I'm uh, Jeff, Goldblum. I'm Jeff Goldblum. He's like Shatner <laughs> Plus. I'm just, I, well, uh, I, uh, you I can't see it, but Jeff you can't see it, but we're just doing like Jeff Goldblum. We're just doing. No, no, just I, doing Jeff Goldblum. No, I, no, I see you. I'm watching. Okay. Oh, right. you can see us. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you and, could uh, see. I us. guess he's just and, too good for video. That's what this is. He's just too good for video for like two seconds. Uh, and bandwidth drop. <laughs> but maybe I could do this. But I have to have my mouth egg right here, so it'll be like. Ah. <laughs> Felt a little. I'll, That's I'll turn it on when right it's there. important. Mm -hmm. I'll turn it on when wow. it's important. <laughs> I'm so aroused right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Abigail's Went. a lucky woman. Mm, yes, she is. Mm. You got that big seedling mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's so scary. It flashes See? in. It turns, on. <laughs> it turns on when it's important. That's... <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> Just the eyeball, <laughs> you fucking monster! I f I figured out how to make this work for us. <laughs> oh, funny. Which for you anyway? Shit! <laughs> One of these times totally. it's gonna show up. It's it. just gonna show up as like his ass or a dick or something. <laughs> it's just gonna be like. No, I'm not gonna go that far. Come on. You gotta keep some sort of mystery. Yeah. Oh, those are balls. Oh. Yeah. 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 No <laughs> balls. Balls up close look just like landscapes. Yeah. How did we get a? How did he get a picture of a brain? Oh, so. Oh. So. Oh, oh no. the goat! Oh. You beautiful bastard! <laughs> the bat wing, bitch! <laughs> Hi, John. I assume you're talking to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was right. it. That was my. That was my thing. I. I have. Other than. That was our awesome useless aside. Yeah. Other than uh, useless. Wow. Okay. I meant the whole opening for us, wow. the useless aside portion. Wow. Of, God damn it! Wow. Ugh, I'm, I'm never gonna tell. Gonna be a I'm gonna tell now. Ender you said that when he's born. <laughs> oh fuck! You're gonna name him Ender. Well, Andrew, <laughs> but yeah. Andrew, okay. And Andrew's not bad. Oh, well, Andrew, Andrew. Yeah, that's the plan. The plan has actually always been, um, mm -hmm. James and he's. Bye, John. The plan has always been uh, James and Andrew. And then yeah. their nicknames would always be Bean and Ender. Because I'm okay. a fucking nerd. Mm -hmm. 
I, and so together, far, by their powers combined, they will be Bender. Bender. But, and so, I've only had two people actually get that out of context without me explaining it. I'm very... I'm sure. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, here's a question that I've never thought about, but that I really, really like all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. When you were still swaddling uh, James, did you ever look at him after you'd swaddled him really well and just go, look at that little bean burrito? Um, we didn't say it exactly like that, but that joke definitely floated around, sure. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Just making sure, because I really enjoy that joke in my head just now, mm -hmm. and I needed to know that it had reached fruition in real life somewhere. Yeah. Most of the time, it, it would be like, we would buy him a bean burrito, and we'd be like, you used to be one of these. That's You give him a bean burrito? That's just begging for disaster. Hi, John. <laughs> Bye, John. Well, I was giving you a facial reaction to that joke. <laughs> Fuck you not liking my puns. <laughs> Eat my entire asshole. Every single asshole. Um, but yeah, there yeah. there have definitely been a lot of bean puns over the years. Good. Good, good, good. There need to be. Yeah. Good stuff. Child um, doesn't know his place in the world without a good pun. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very true. You got to put them in their place. Let them know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, should we get to the? Uh... Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to the the meat and taters of um of the episode. So okay. this uh, this week we're talking about uh, Disney video games. Very very exciting topic because um I well so I'll, let me just start this off with a little bit of history of why this this is so important to me. Um, mostly because when I was growing up. Um, my parents weren't really into video games. I didn't have a whole lot of friends that were super into video games. Um, so the systems that we got and the games that we got were always purchased via like my mom or, or dad at the time. And they, they wanted to get stuff that both my sister and I could be into, even though my sister like wasn't really into video games all that much. Um, so a lot of the games we got were Disney titles. So we got, you know, a, uh, I had a I had a Genesis. So we had like Aladdin on Sega Genesis. We had mm -hmm. Lion King. Um, I had a couple Nintendo titles. Uh, I had like the DuckTales video game. Uh, but one of my favorites that actually recently uh, came to mind, I totally f had forgotten about it, was um, was uh, Castle of Illusion. I don't know if you remember this. Oh, yeah. Starring Castle Mickey Mouse. Castle of Illusion is a good one. So, yeah. Very, this... very underrated game. Super is this good. For Genesis? Yeah, I was going to call out one of the specific... Genesis? Uh, yeah, that wasn't a that was a Super Genesis title, I think. It was a, ge it was, it was a no, it was a regular platforms. regular Sega Gen Sega Genesis. It was I regular think... Genesis. Okay. It was regular. It wasn't Genesis. Sega's... Sega CD or 32X or some crap. No, no, it was <laughs> it was very much God, like 16-bit. No. Um, it may have come out on Super Nintendo as well. I'm not sure, but I know for a fact it came out. There might have. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but I'm really mad right now because a lot of these games you can get. Um, on Steam now, you can get a lot of these old yeah. titles, but you can't get um, Castle, the original Castle of Illusion because they remastered it, and now it's yeah. like a 3D game, which I like. It looks cool. I might get it at some point, but I'm mad because you can't get that original that original game anymore. Well, you can, just not I, legit. Easily. Easily. You can't get it easily. Let me just throw up my hood and take you to the dark web. The dark web. And right here next to Mickey's Castle of Illusion, there is child porn. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and next to that, on the other side of that, is more great Disney video gaming titles. <laughs> and on the other side of that is a picture of, yes, that's Mickey doing Goatsy. Oh, and there's just some random murder video. That, mm. that, that exists. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. It looks like that's actually a resume for someone you can hire to kill people. And John left. <laughs> and he knew when left. to get the hell out. <laughs> John's like, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Um, I just can't do this. But, yeah, super, super into uh, – I was super into that game as a kid. I think that was one of the few games that yeah. I enjoyed – beyond um it just being related to something that i was other 
like also into. Um, Lion mm-hmm. King obviously was was a uh, huge fun, but everybody was yeah. like, really into the movie. Um, same with Aladdin. Um, Ducktales was a was a fun yep. cartoon. And Ooh, the Ducktales. Ducktales game and, and the Ducktales like show and movie were yeah. the things that I was really into. And then, um, but yeah, Mickey Mickey Castle Illusion. I remember being one of those games where um, I really enjoyed it as a game. Um, yeah. And and like after a while, I stopped thinking of it as like a Disney game or as a as a as a mickey game it was just a game and mickey just happened to be the character um i actually have one of those two for a first party game um is it a first party in that case anyway it's a mickey game um and it's uh it's i want to say okay it's it's called disney's magical quest or actually it was just called magical quest starring mickey Mm -hmm. um and it was just like it was my sick day game like it was the game nice. where when when other games were like required thinking or like it was one of the first games that i played through entirely in one sitting and like it was just it was just a great little game and it was you know it's not a tremendous title mm-hmm. what system like, uh that's an snes game gotcha like it's not a tremendous title but it's cute and it's got like really interesting game mechanics where Mickey gets these different like suits, like outfits that he wears that give him different abilities. Like first it's just him and all he can do is basically jump and throw things. But then he gets a magician outfit that lets him cast magic spells and like Oh nice. This actually sounds really this sounds really cool. Sounds really actually. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh then he gets a firefighter outfit that makes him <laughs> immune to fire. And it also gives him like a fire hose that he can like use to put out to, fires. to put out fires and to like move things around. Okay. Um, That's sweet. And later in other levels where it's cold, you can switch to the firefighter outfit. And there's other water mechanics, and there's water mechanics and like magic mechanics that play together. That's um, awesome. And you can switch the, this whole time, the outfits at will, or yeah, you can switch. Yeah, you can switch. So at like will. you can switch. Mega Man fly. style, basically. Yeah, yeah, Mega Man style. And there's an upgrade system for the outfits. Uh, like okay. there's like a collectibles and upgrade system for the outfits mm-hmm. and your third outfit is like the mountaineer where you get a grappling hook and you can climb That's and awesome. like you're doing all these things together and it sounds like, yeah, super cool dude i, I want to play this, game. this now yeah. awesome little game what is this um and they made like three or four of these it's called magical quest starring mickey you got to look out because there was a follow-up title called magical quest starring mickey and minnie that i believe is a completely different game Mm. it was like a gotcha. remaster for the gba that they made completely different somehow but gotcha. the original snes title magical quest yeah, starring SNES mickey long play takes about an hour to play through apparently yep it only takes about an hour if you play it well if you're a kid uh it's gonna take you more like four but you know that's okay um but yeah it, it's it's a short little game but it's got these really cute little mechanics apparently it it's was a classic trilogy. mickey story it was a trilogy yeah. released, yes. released by Capcom. Mm-hmm. It's a Capcom game. It's part of how you know it's good. And uh, yeah, Capcom makes some really good like uh, titles. Yeah, shockingly. Uh, but yeah, Especially games, in that era. Games star Mickey Mouse and depending on the game version, Minnie or Donald Duck. And yeah, you Minnie must or Donald defeat, in the later uh, ones. Peg Leg Pete. Yep, Pete, the perennial. He's the Bowser of the Mickey universe. Basically, yeah. Unless you watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, then he's just kind of like there. He's just kind of a nuisance. Yeah. I mean, well, that's as villainous as anybody gets in a Mickey Mouse. No. No. Mortimer really? Mouse shows up and he's like a true villain. Oh, he should, Mortimer yeah, is He turns out to be like this one episode where they're playing superheroes and Pete's mm-hmm. like the villain at first and then they take Pete down and then he's like, oh, I was just doing what the boss told me to do. And it's like, oh, there's really? a boss? And it's like, it turns out it was That's Mortimer That's interesting. Yeah, That's it was a interesting that they bring in Mortimer. Because Mortimer is like the original kind of like Mickey villain. Yeah. You know? Well, didn't and they, yeah, they made the, when they made that, uh, I think there's two of them, but Epic Mickey for Wii. That yep. uh, wasn't Mortimer Mouse was the villain, right? Yeah, yeah. There's there's two epic like, Mickey's and and yeah. Ooh, there was a yeah. game I played advanced the... remake. Yep. Um, oh, that was the one that had Minnie in it. Yeah, it's the one with Mickey and Minnie, and I just don't know if that one's the same game. Same or just 
It says it was. I mean, I, mean, I just genuinely don't know. Who knows? I mean, I'm, oh I'm yeah, no, about... it's the same thing. It's the same game. They just added Minnie as a playable character. She's identical to oh. Mickey. So it's you just... can just pick which one you play as. Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. I'm down for that. Yeah. I mean, that game could do with a remaster. Yeah. Um, it's a good little game though. Like it's That's real great. short. It's very accessible, but it's got just like. I don't know how to put it. It's got that gorgeous Disney feel to it, and it just like it's so goofy fun. Like, like it it starts with Mickey like falling down into like a magical realm, and suddenly it's Jack and the Beanstalk, and it's like, what the hell am I doing here? And and like you're getting chased around by gargoyles for some reason. It's crazy. <laughs> it is so crazy, and it is so good. Um. Yeah, but that's that's like for me, that's my big emotional tie to like Disney video games is that specifically. Um, and I mean, you've got other great stuff since then, and like there were a lot of Disney titles I played, but that's the big one for me. I didn't play too many Disney titles myself. The ones that stick out for me, and actually, part of like half of them are garbage mm -hmm. ones because there's a, a shit ton of garbage disney video games obviously oh yeah um you shut your mouth but yeah no 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 i'm saying i will fight you but there's plenty of good ones I will fight so you. the ones that are interesting to me well i mean aladdin is one because yes. when i was a kid we and i'm sure you did too jacob we played aladdin for the super nintendo and that's more that's like a that's like a straight platformer kind of game well, but aladdin what's aladdin is like prince of persia light it's really right. good but what's interesting about that is there is a, and usually what would happen is, and this is the case with like Lion King and stuff, where there is, uh, you know, they make a Sega Genesis port or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's basically the same game, just kind of, you know, yeah. just, you know, optimized for Sega or whatever. Or but it's basically the same basically, game. Yeah. Exactly. But in the case with Aladdin, it's a completely different publisher, a completely different game for Genesis. Mm -hmm. yep. And I didn't, I didn't know this. I played the the Super NES Aladdin when I was a kid, but I yeah, learned only recently, yeah, only recently about the Genesis version. The Genesis version is like an action game. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like Aladdin. Aladdin has a sword and stuff. It's a completely mm -hmm. different game. It's, it's com kind of, yeah. it's kind of basically just like comes down to preference of what type of game you prefer to play. I wouldn't say there's necessarily a superior version. But it's very interesting how it is actually two completely separate games. What is the uh, SNES version like? It's a it's it's platform. more like a straight platformer. You don't it's you throw apples. Yeah. yeah, you throw you apples. Throw apples and you, kinda climb, you know, you uh, climb like really think original Prince of Persia kind of where like you're climbing and doing some gymnastic stuff and you throw apples to. Distract, I want to say I played. It's, it's, I want to say I played like good. a port of that for like Game Boy or something. Because I probably I recall probably that yeah. The, mm -hmm. the, Either that or that or the Sega Genesis version had apple throwing as well. Um, I do remember it being it, more action because that was it, the version it, I played. It might, like, but the, the main sword, the, you could like yeah, the main I, thing is yeah, uh, the Genesis yeah, version. I was not a Genesis kid. Oh no, me neither. I'm revisiting so, like, all I'd these, never these games now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I played that played Aladdin version. Genesis recently. I played it like you know six months ago because <laughs> I was I very curious. <laughs> I remember, like, we rented a Genesis one time, and because we were, like, deciding whether to get a Genesis or an SNES. Right. Like, we rented a Genesis with Sonic, and we all played Sonic, and we all had basically the same reaction, which was like, wow, those colors are really cool, but this game sucks. And we like, <laughs> gave up and went to SNES. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's kind of, that's, that's me to say. I love Sonic. Sonic's a fun game. It wasn't for us. It wasn't for my family. That's all it was. I I wouldn't have enjoyed. I wouldn't have enjoyed it at that time either. I played Sonic and Sonic Two. Yeah. I haven't played the other ones, but I played the Sonic first two. Really yeah, Sonic Two is like the, the definitive. But um, I played those. I think apparently John played those. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing about Sonic that's interesting is. It's a little bit more in your face about the different ways you can play. Like, it, it's a very short, short game. Um, yeah. But it's very in your face, like, uh, in terms of how you can play it. Uh, like, you can either just play it through the story, um, which is very, very easy. Or you can speed run levels, which is hard. True. You know, that adds an, another yep. challenge. But that that's, like, but it's a very, like, predominant um, 
obvious part of the game is like speed running it um and then uh uh and then playing it for like max coin or max rings and stuff like that um which like you could do in the mario games too it's just not as um it's just not as predominant you kind of have to like it it feels like you kind of have to like make that your own fun Whereas like Sonic's yeah, built for it, like it's built for speed running and and being That's like true. this wild, crazy, like hyper, you know, hyper reactive uh, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is. Absolutely. It's very short. Like you could you could rent Sonic for like a night and beat it really easily. It's not. It's not uh, oh, long at all. Um, true. But the Sonic Sonic series wasn't actually my favorite game on the Genesis. I actually really liked. To me, to me, um, Genesis had uh, some really good like third party titles. It was kind of like the PlayStation of its time. Like it had really good third party titles. Um, yeah. It was. Uh, it was. Put, I believe uh, Genesis came out first, right before. SNES. Genesis came out slightly before SNES. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it was like pushing, it was like innovative, pushing the boundary 16 bits before Nintendo did. And then like, but yeah. Nintendo's always been like, you know, um, a little bit, um, a li- just more Nintendo? reliable. It's just been more, yeah, of, Nintendo, more of a stable. Um, uh, as a company they don't try to innovate with just like raw spec they try to innovate with other things like yeah absolutely like when you think about it snes wasn't innovating in raw power it was innovating in like mechanics and scripting and how you could do things on the system i mean just Um, the controller design it was the first controller to feature triggers it was the first controller yeah shoulder to, totally yeah it, it added and then nintendo 64 same thing they didn't innovate necessarily in hardware uh, right it's just another cartridge system slightly more powerful it wasn't necessarily more powerful than anything else on the market yeah. but the controller was way different again yeah um, but it introduced and the it first had an joystick. expandability thing yeah it did absolutely it did because it it the original the first yeah. analog controller the original ps1 the first controller for that did not have the analog yep. sticks it did not uh, actually, that generation revision. is referred to as a PSX, not a PS1. Ah, yeah, it's just because it, it was just called the PlayStation when it came out. It and was then, just the PlayStation. It wasn't the PlayStation One. It was the PlayStation. Well, no, no. So, we, I mean, we refer to it that way, obviously, because. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, because PS1 is actually a hardware generation. Yeah, that really. They launched PlayStation after the same PS2. same games though, right? It is the same games. Well, Think yeah, of no, it it's, like it's PlayStation Three versus PlayStation Three. Pro, you know, PS4 versus PS4 Pro. Versus PS4, PS4 Pro. Pro. Yeah. Gotcha. Or gotcha. PS3 versus PS3 Slim, or like. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of how like. Uh, I mean, this is an example that doesn't make sense in North America, but how Super Famicom had two editions. How there was an edition that launched bef- like at launch, and then there was a second edition they released after the Nintendo 64. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like that. The 64 was great. Like, for, it really is. It shows when you look back at Nintendo's hardware how how much they innovate in terms of like, mm-hmm. in ter- in terms of immersing you into the into the game. That's that's always been their their thing and making play yeah. more interactive, more fun. They were the first. That was the first system that introduced the Rumble Pack too. Was the yep. 64? Yep. The vibration. Um, Although they were a little bit off the wagon in that they wanted to use expandable memory and rumble like asynchronously. Yeah. They hadn't right. really figured out that right. part of it yet, but they had a cool idea in that yeah. the expansion would happen through the to through the, the controller. Itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was all. Which right. Dreamcast just blatantly fucking stole later. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> Sega. <laughs> well, I mean, it they, was, they, they take good ideas and they Hail run Mary. with them. I can't blame that them. That was their Hail Mary. After after the dude. after that, they, I mean, Sega had nothing else, and they were just like, eh. But dude, Dreamcast is such a good system. Like, it's a great. System. There's a reason there are still. It's Dreamcast very underrated. Today. Yeah, it's an incredible system. It beat the shit out of its competitors at the genera- at its generation, and, and yeah. like, it just came out at the wrong time. Like, yeah, nobody... just bad timing. It, yeah. it was literally too soon. Like it was, yeah, it came it was out. It came out way early. earlier than the, than the, the console, other consoles of that same gen. 
So no one knew like, what to compare it to. I feel like it was like two no years. Yeah, I feel like it was like two years earlier or something. Well, that yeah. and like developers weren't really developing for that much power at the time. No. So get, like games no. didn't come out for it initially. Yeah. It had a very li like limited. It's kind of like how the Switch is now, where like the Switch yeah. is great, but there's really not that many titles for it. So the the thing Switch has going for it is it's a Nintendo title and people will buy the Nintendo brand and they trust that games will yeah. come that. And it's, the I can't remember way to get a Nintendo title, you know, like Mario True. or Zelda. I, I can't remember the exact number, but it's, I want to say it's 10 years is how long Nintendo could afford to operate without any income as it currently does. And they would not go bankrupt. 10 years. That yeah, they could just literally not make money for like 10 years continue spending what they spend and they would still be in business yeah it's, it's something like 10 years that's it might be more it might be 15. that's like, incredible. it's crazy that is incredible just for a company that's that's okay. well they're just super conservative with their with their spending is the thing yeah so they've they've got they, when they've had income and windfalls and made just crazy profit they just stick it in the bank you know yeah. they don't go crazy with it it works, man. It works. They're... So they've got an amazing amount of cash on hand. Mm -hmm. I hear John's passengers. I hear John's passengers. Welcome, as well, welcome yes. to the podcast, Adieu. Liam and Laura. <laughs> yeah. glad, glad to have you. Glad to have you. Um, so back on topic, uh, Disney games. We talked about Aladdin for a second there. Mm -hmm. um, yes. John and I have a special connection through the game. Oh, we Hook. do. I was going to bring this up if you weren't. Uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hook is a magical, magical, ball-crushing game. For the and... SNES version in particular, there was an NES yeah. version, but the was SNES there? version well, that, in particular. That's a mistake. There I'm was, yeah. Sorry about that. There um, was. I feel like Nintendo games did this really neat thing where it's like, this is marketed to children, but uh, I got some bad news for you. They're gonna lose. Like, <laughs> it was You're rough. never gonna finish this game. Like, no, literally, like we were what in our twenties playing that game one night and we could not finish it. Like the two of us, back and forth, taking turns, one per lap. Uh -huh. We got to the end of that game, could not beat Captain Hook. He just kept fucking murdering us. And I feel like that's yeah, that's this totally. thing that Nintendo games did, or not Nintendo, that uh, that Disney games did a lot. Uh, where like it's a happy-go-lucky children's game and then you get partway into it and it just kills you like it's just incredibly difficult and it's like well, you know there's just, it's... I assume that was a great point yeah I, I mean I mean I I don't want to say I 100% agree with you John there's a little but... faultiness and kind of the game to hit detect right so I believe John is mentioning yeah. that the error isn't so much in the difficulty curve as it is in the programming and how hit detection might be wrong or slightly yes. off in certain ways. Yes, that is, that is what I am saying. And while I agree with that, I prefer to think of it as Disney trying to parent for parents who stuck their kids in front of a Disney game. <laughs> you, know? you know what? Life may look pretty. It may be simple sometimes, but then it's going to kick your dick in. And I think that's yeah, just totally. a really great message from a Disney game, you know? Like, you don't get to just slack off and cruise through because Captain Hook is going to beat the shit out of you. I mean, that that is the message shit that I try you, to yeah. give Bean every day. It's like, listen, um, yeah, you sure. know, you can work hard, you can uh, you can do your best, but at the end of the day, life has a really tiny hitbox, and yeah. <laughs> you're not going to hit every time. You just got to keep going. And a huge <laughs> health pool. Yeah, so just a huge ready. health pool. <laughs> bullet sponge but but yeah i remember we were taking turns on that sponge. by the time dude that would be a great shirt life is a goddamn bullet sponge <laughs> life is a goddamn bullet sponge <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I, I remember but yeah i remember like when we were playing that i think i finally it was like three in the morning i finally fell asleep and jacob was was he like another two or three hours it was like four or five in the morning and he finally beat it and i woke up and i was like ah 
Oh, and he, the whole, but the whole time he's playing it, you're just like talking, like you're just like this, this goddamn game. Oh, this is. Oh, why would they do it this way? Oh God, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like yeah. that whole thing. <laughs> that's my. Uh, that's when I'm on tilt. I've I've come to co to learn that that is referred to being referred to as being on tilt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I get on tilt, I just fucking mutter angrily the whole time. <laughs> I don't uh, criticize the developers. Like, oh my I God. do. I just oh for sure. Yeah, like I'm brutal. Like if I had a picture of them, I'd be talking about how shitty their clothes were. Like I wouldn't care. Just anything. Oh my God. Little those little bastards. You look like your parents me. were first cousins. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely would. Yeah, how was Arkansas? You fucking motherfucker. <laughs> Arkansas. Where'd you learn to goddamn code? You right with your fucking feet. Mm, Arkansas. That is the best. <laughs> I mean, incest jokes, they all co always comes back to Arkansas. Always. Yeah. Um Yeah, so I I never played Bye, John. I never played uh the SNES hook, but I I think I've played um I think I played the NES version and it was it yeah. was just as brutal. I I I don't think I got very far. The game that I that was definitely my uh my beat me over the head until I was bloody um, game was Lion King. And, and apparently it was so oh, funny yeah. because at the time, like you don't, there's no Reddit for me to go on and complain. And, yeah. you know, you know, when you're, when you're six, there's, there's, there's nothing like there's no forums. And there's like, no frame of reference for it either. Yeah, like developers like one of fix your, your games. games. Exactly. So, uh, so you just deal with it. And then um, I came to find out later that like, it wasn't just me. It was like millions of other people who played this game oh, that yeah. were just as equally frustrated. Oh yes. There's this like, there's this like unspoken, um, this unspoken just camaraderie between people who have played Lion King, yeah. like survivors of it. <laughs> it's just like, we don't speak about it, but. Yeah. Know. It's this like tribal thing where, where like, Mentioning Lion King was your way of mentioning Dark Souls before Dark Souls was a thing. Like yeah. when you wanted to say a game was really difficult, you were like, "Yeah, it's like a real Lion King." Like, yeah, it's just it was stupidly unreasonably difficult for a children's game. Yeah, but there it was. What? And it's just like you mentioned it, and people knew, and there was just they this knew. unspoken they understood. respect. They understood exactly. So, uh, needless to say, I never touched that shit. <laughs> exactly. Well, you still won't touch. Uh, you still won't touch Dark Souls either, right? Yeah, but I got this free copy of Bloodborne. I'll get to it eventually. Do it. Bloodborne's so good. I know. Um, I know. You love it. But um, I don't. Uh, I would get Lion King. I think it's also pretty cheap on Steam at this point. It, I'm sure it is. I mean, it's the thing is, if it's classic platforming mechanics, it won't be the worst now in my 30s when I like have a consciousness of how platforming mechanics work and I'm like good at that it'll just be like finger like dexterity and figuring that out and <laughs> frankly while that's probably the worst part I'm gonna play um, it again with a scuff now and they're just be like oh I fucking got this just all oh yeah, it's so good. Throw on my gunners. Ooh, oh, ooh. I got this. Oh. Throw on your gunners. I want to see you live stream this now, just straight up with the oh, scuff. God, I gosh. want the scuff in frame while you're doing it too. Or it's just gonna like, be just so like good. The, the down, like the one camera down view, so that people can see my finger. Lupo movement. style, yeah, straight up Lupo style. The camera on the keyboard so thing. People can see my my uh, my finger movements. So good. Yeah, I love it. Do Make it. sure you aren't forging Do those it. speed runs. Mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, that Lion King speed run record um, probably exists. We've got a lot of. I'm sure it does, dude. He's just uh, finger sinking. He's just finger sinking. He's not really playing. I mean, you've heard that the King of Kong was ousted. Oh, oh, I am. Was he? Oh, I've, I I've kept. I've kept up on this. Billy Mitchell has been banned from Twin Galaxies, and his. Mm -hmm. Records removed because yep. it was concluded that his video of his Donkey Kong record was actually played on MAME, which is an arcade emulator. So therefore, if you're playing on MAME, you could easily forge and piece together and yeah. use tool assisting or whatever, ha what have you, you know, so it's not authentic. The girders... <laughs> It's all about Whether the he did or didn't, I think is kind of irrelevant because yeah, like, he could have played it legit, but there's no the way benchmark. to like confirm it, so yeah. it's it's disqualified. And, and that's just the right. like, exactly, and that's the thing. Is like this is the benchmark. Well, he lied and said just he, do something else. He, yeah, 
and he lied and said he didn't play it on a on Mame. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah, it's and clearly on Mame. So the what evidence else did he shows. Lie about? The thing is, though, the size I mean, of his dick, because nobody lies about that. <laughs> Why would they? Nobody. My my wife says it's fine. It's a fine size. Mm-hmm. It's totally... Oh yeah, it's a good size. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I've heard she if it o- were any bigger, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know. You said it was a good size. And uh, you know, and like we have sex only like we can't even have sex more than twice a month because it's like too much for her. Oh, it's too much. Yeah, absolutely. She's uh-huh. like. No, a hunt, hunt it, hunt it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving off of dick jokes. <laughs> so we've got lots of other material to mine in those Disney uh, archives there. Uh, uh, yeah, one I want to call out. I want to call one out real quick. Okay. Um, yes. So my family didn't have a good computer growing up. Our first computer was like this this knockoff IBM that only ran a green screen DOS, and it was like it was a piece of shit. Oh yeah, uh, we had a Dell. I'm that would have been much much better than this thing that we had. Like this thing <laughs> was so bad. How do I put this? It was like a knockoff of a knockoff. <laughs> the C grade like, computer. Like you've never heard of the brand Tandy, most likely, <laughs> but this was a knockoff of a Tandy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, it was real bad. Like, so Tandy's bad. not the not Tandy's not the knockoff. Tandy is the knockoff. Know, Tandy is a knockoff. Okay. Tandy is effectively a knockoff IBM. But you had a knockoff of a Tandy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yes, Excellent. that we inherited. I see. Uh, we inherited. Oh God, I don't. I don't even want to remember. I don't want to try and remember. But one of the like three games that we had on this damn thing was uh a chip and dale game oh the chip and dale game so good one of them because it turns out there were like seven of these things but this one was the one about like breaking into the factory for the mechanical cats and mm-hmm. it just controlled yeah. like ass it just <laughs> was terrible to well, play pc gaming and... was garbage back in the day like that i think oh yeah i think that was the thing that got me that that made me a console gamer versus like god bless you if you are a pc gamer today and you started as a pc gamer as a kid because Mm -hmm. damn you put up with some bullshit like bullshit i i remember um my first you know run in with pc gaming we had it was in like fourth or fifth grade we had a computer like a small computer lab in my in my grade school my elementary school and mm-hmm. on Same. each of these computers, they had a few games. They had Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. Um, which I mean, that's going to get its own episode later. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, we won't talk about it. They had Oregon Trail. Naturally. Oh, well, yeah. Which was, which was the thing. And that, was, that was the hot Lem- game to play. And I remember and really, that was one of the three games we had on our piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> when I remember jumping in Oregon and being Trail. like, oh, cool. I'm going to play this game, this Oregon Trail game, see what it's all about. Oh, it had nice. three colors. Oh, I got bit three by a colors. snake and I'm dead. The f- and then it was like, and then and that was the end of my turn. You and all- then you can't play like, and because it was like a rotating system, there were only five computers. You only got like one chance to play a month, and once you died, your turn was over. And I was like, "Fuck this game!" <laughs> I like this is bullshit. I was so mad. I'm gonna go home and play with my Nintendo. This is terrible. Did, did, did you name? Did you name all your party like stupid? name so it would sound hilarious when they died like ha ha but has dysentery ha 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 no I take my shit I take my RPGs very seriously I name them after like Ah, people in my life that I care about so that way I'm emotionally (laughs) affected when they die (laughs) like I want to feel that pain like I want it I want it to be like your mother is dead and I'm just like (laughs) same um I I'm the opposite I I want to be completely detached well, now I do. But when I was a kid, that was what I did in Oregon Trail. Only at the time, uh, when I was first playing Oregon Trail, I did not know my parents' names. Nice. Okay. So they were just mom and dad. dad. Interesting. You didn't. You didn't know Pat. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know. Well, I and even then, like most people call her Gypso, so I wouldn't have put it together. And like same with my dad. Like he's Frederick, but most people call him Tup. So like I would never have known. Yeah. 
That's funny. I would never have put it together. It was just too many variables for my small, small mind. Small mind to comprehend. So it was just, just, it was just mom, dad, Graf, and Jacob. Nice. It's a good little family. And if there was a fourth character, yeah, if there was a uh, or fifth character, I would name them after my cat. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used And now to, uh, I just name all characters after cats. It's my great. favorite thing, and this is a little embarrassing, but I'll get into it, is uh, I, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. my favorite thing would be to always name... Because you can always, like in an RPG or a JRPG, you can always figure out who the love interest is going to be pretty quick. So I'd always name the love interest after the hottest girl in school or the girl I was really into at the time. I'd be like, we're going to bone later. We're gonna, I'm not this even... Is, I'm. This is happening. Not even ashamed. Not ashamed. Definitely. Yeah. No, I mean, looking back, same. it feels a little date rapey. I don't know if it's like. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing: it's uh, like fantasy bit. thing. It's. I guess it is a little fantasy. It's like daydreaming about your crush. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. I don't see it the same way. All I right. respect your opinion. Survey says uh, it's okay. Survey says John doesn't have a voice yet, so we'll find out when he comes in and voices his opinion. But uh, yeah, but I was all about taking that shit super super serious and and naming uh, yeah. naming after people although i have heard Same. one of the greatest things you can do is um is uh naming uh in the in the most recent uh breath of the wild the zelda game is mm -hmm. naming him uh naming him cool bro and then every time every time everyone just sounds super <laughs> chill everyone's just like cool bro, cool, bro. <laughs> you need to go <laughs> totally <laughs> it's just like uh, just listening nice a a popular you need to get rune. That cool, bro. You need to find yeah. the rune of ultimate wisdom. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, it just a popular makes... streamer that we both watch on uh, on a recent playthrough named Link. My anus <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, My funny. anus. <laughs> it was it was pretty good actually. That's great. It was stupid, but it was good. That's awesome. So back to Disney games. Back to Disney games. Um, uh, Disney RPG. I think uh, I think at least one of us has played that fun little crossover. I have not. It was this like an early rendition of like the, Oh no no no. This of, is uh, I'm just I'm just I'm just segueing into Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kingdom Kingdom Hearts I have not Never yet played, played. It. I have not played Kingdom Hearts, really? but I really want to. Okay. I'm thinking about um, cuz I'm waiting for it to go on sale on like PSN and stuff. I know it's been on, on... So So Kingdom Hearts is interesting. Um, so Kingdom Hearts does this thing, right? Where it's giving you like, at that date, it's giving you like the teenage to early 20s version of all these different characters. Um, some of the Disney characters are like age mixed a little bit, but all of the Square characters get their ages corrected back to like between 19 and 22. <laughs> like they're okay. all or like 17 to 22 so they're all like in that same age range no matter what their ages appeared to be in the game where they appeared so you get this weird thing that happens where like you encounter cloud or not well you do encounter cloud but you encounter uh you encounter squall specifically from final okay. fantasy 8 nice and you're like, who the fuck is this kid? Like, <laughs> seriously. Like, you're just like, you're just not Squall like looks, him. Yeah, because Squall looks like he's supposed to be, like, 19 or something. He's a little rough around the edges by that point. And, like, that's how he looks when he's in Final Fantasy VIII, because he's a full-size character model. But in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts, he looks a little younger. Like, they de-aged him a little. So he just looks like a kid, and you're like, "What in the fuck are you doing with a gunblade? Where are your parents? Like, <laughs> like it's <laughs> you are not age appropriate for that weapon." Yeah, and then a character like Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII, who is supposed to be young, got aged up, but it doesn't really show because Yuffie's supposed to be like 15 in Final right. Fantasy VII. Okay, but she got aged up to like 17 or 18, only here's the catch there's no existing 3d model of yuffie prior to kingdom hearts really right because she's just she's just polygons she's just a weird polygonal model in final right. fantasy 7 right so they had to base it off that but she looks like ayane's artwork does so it's it's really interesting and That's she funny. just doesn't like none of the characters look quite like you imagine and they're all kind of 
slightly disnified. <laughs> right, 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 right. And they've all got like touches of like just their ages feel wrong. Like Sid from Final Fantasy VII is there. It's the Final Fantasy VII version of Sid. Really? But he's like, he's instead of being like old and grizzled and angry at the world, he's still kind of old and grizzled, but he's not smoking. Oh, and not. he's like 25. Like he's the oldest one and he's like in his 20s, like early 20s. <laughs> he's like, you damn and kids. Like, and he's like, you're 25. Yeah. You're 25. You should be angry. You have wrinkles and like be so mad about everything. And instead you're like running a shop with some moogles. <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to your life? No wonder he's so angry in Final Fantasy VII. Jeez. Yeah. And it's just, it's so interesting to see these characters, like, <laughs> like just portrayed in ways that you don't expect. Um, yeah. Just... And then Cloud's portrayal is is similar. I mean, it's like... Cloud... Go ahead. It's like the Disney on Ice version of characters. <laughs> Basically, it's just like, it's just like that's it not totally right. Is. It's like all the characters... Like you go to a Disney on Ice show and fucking Woody and Buzz are the same size as, as like Pinocchio. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> that's not right. That makes no he sense. He should be way bigger. He should be way they bigger. They should be small. <laughs> it's like, this makes no sense. And they just never sound quite right. It's like, <laughs> hey, Woody... It's like, oh. Hi, oh. Woody. Oh. Hello, Woody. Yeah. There's a snake in my boots. <laughs> You're just like, hey, uh, th there's a snake in my boots, huh? There's a. Eh. There's a hey. hey. <laughs> like, or just have the wrong thing. Like, there's a rat in my shoe. <laughs> I got you. All right, I got yeah, it so well, thank you so much for calling uh, in, John. I really appreciate it. Long time listener, first course. time caller. Really appreciate. Yeah, I really appreciate the call in. Uh, next time, you know, we'll we'll do our best to uh, to make sure that the switchboard is a little faster for you. Thanks for that thumbs up, bro. And <laughs> oh the my frozen God, his video. video is so laggy and shitty. <laughs> Oh, is that a homeless man peeing in the bay? Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh god. my god! Oh, he's showering well, in the fountain. Uh, as always, uh, thank you, um, everybody. Who thank listened. you to our sponsors. Literally no one. Uh, literally no one. It's the product to look for when you want high quality nothing. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping Lacroix will sponsor us because I, I love Lacroix. <laughs> Lacroix. Some La Croix. You don't I mean, hopefully we have landed like, the Disney take, sponsorship after this one. I'll take one. one free case of LaCroix a month and I will sponsor you and I will, I will talk endlessly hey, about how hey, good it is. Yeah, absolutely. We did a full episode on Disney. We'd better land that, that high-class Disney money now. We'd better <laughs> that land that Disney, Disney sponsorship. I even used my Disney mug, all right? This is my Disney I, well, mug. I was mad. I so last today. week I was, like, dressed to the nines. I had my Mickey shirt on. I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. But whatever. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, I was asleep. Yeah, sorry about that. That's all good. Uh, so next week, Jacob sleep. Next week, um, we're not sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, recording is TBD because uh, John is still gonna be on tour with his band, The Family Crest. Check them out. Their new album. Yep. Check them out. Uh, check them out. The War is available wherever music is sold. Um, or or uh, streamed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. I don't know how they make money off things, but yeah. they do. So buy it somewhere. Yeah, uh, or go see them live. They're playing all over the coast right go now. Go see them live. Yeah, um, they are a damn fine live show. Very very good. Um, but yeah, so John's going to be on tour, and I am taking um, my family to Universal Studios mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, as a last ditch trip. Before and my wife gets I'll be really, all really pregnant. alone. I'll be all alone. Yeah. So coding. we may do a late record. We'll see. Yeah. But I mean, we do what we do. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But otherwise, thank We're you so mega much. mega profesh. Super professional operation right Thank here. you, sir. Yep. And this has been our episode on Disney. Uh, like 50%-ish. Maybe a little less. You know, we do what we can. I actually feel like we are more on topic on this episode than we have been ever. So that was, I'm proud. Well, yeah, me too. And I mean, it just helps. There's a lot of Disney material. Mm -hmm. We never even talked about the Little Mermaid and how creepy it is that she's 13. Is that creepy? 